What's up, Skrillzers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to play some ranked, because although we got the weekly winner number one for this week, Ghost Bomb just passed us. I believe his rating is 1835, so hopefully I can get at least 6 rating from this uh, ranked match if I win. And I think what we're going to play is Tempo Order. I have not uh, played that in a while. I've played this other kind of tempo deck, like Knights, but... It seems like just the soldier version of Tempo Order is still better, but Relaros is here because Relaros is very good. And why isn't my tier 3 Relaros in there? For winning the Rag and Roll, he gets to choose a tier 3 scroll, so Adam has gave me Relaros. But um, yeah, Relaros is pretty good uh, in Tempo Order because you get those massive attack buffs. And then Effigy the Queen makes it so energy can't really do anything to you. And even if uh, you're playing like growth or something, that really doesn't matter. It's still a four health um, unit for two cost, so it's not too bad. Now, Swernal Sword is still decent without the health buff. It's still okay. Still deadly on skirmishers. So, did it make any changes? I don't think so. And hopefully, I can win at least six ratings. So I'll be right back when we find a match. Finally, a match is found. Hopefully the rating difference is not too great that if I win I would make up not enough rating. On of the Otter. Um, I think uh, he is kind of high rated, so hopefully I can get at least 6 if I win. First we have to win. And he goes first, that's not a good start for us. And our starting hand is not very good, it's fine I guess. If he's energy I'll probably keep it because of the FOG the Queen is in my starting hand. But if he's anything other than energy I'll probably... Mulligan. I'm gonna say like top deck like, a three drop here. Hmm. Alright, now I'm gonna keep it because I can go one, two. And because he's order, I don't think Effigy the Queen is going to be useful right in but decimation might not be that useful. Let's get rid of the Effigy of the Queen. Effigy Effigy of the Queen does have ward, so it could be a good shield. This can't get potted or flipped. But then no, but then the unit behind it could just get potted or flipped. So I don't have Wings Warders in this deck. Interesting. So he's going for Decay. Um, I will sacrifice the Decimation for the Duke Lemmaturman. I like uh, Duke Lemmaturman much more than Wing Soldier. The uh, extra health is really awesome. So let's see what Aunt of the Otter does. There can't be a Soul Steal this turn. Goes for Wild. And now if I can chop like a 3 drop. Unfortunately I don't. So I'll have to sacrifice i'll get rid of the rest of bean potion play a wing soldier first thing first of all i'm going to threaten the entire board so wherever he puts down a unit i can move towards it um might not be enough damage to kill it but you kind of get what i'm saying and next turn i can go with the roller us so that's good and he's going for more wild let's see Pillar Fatigue. Okay, this is like one of those decks, is it? Um, honestly, that might mean that... I, mean, I know the flip can be good for getting rid of this, but I'd rather just have the straight curve up to the Vanguard. And a lot of times, Order order uh, Decay decks are Poison decks, because you can like summon some Maswell, but seeing this Pillar Fatigue and, and since Maswell is nerfed, I think... I don't think it's going to be a poison heavy deck, but I won't put the Roller Ross in the middle of everything. Put it like over here. And it, if that Pillar Fatigue stays there, it won't be a huge deal because I could just ping these idols down. And I am Tempo Order, or Aggro Order, whatever you want to call it. And he has no creature on the board yet. So I expect the removal to start coming soon. If this becomes a real nuisance, I guess I could always like pother it to me or something. Okay, so there's the eager search. Now he's gonna get starting to get draws, but there's not much I can do about that just yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the Vanguard. I will play it. Should I play it in the middle just to try to keep hitting these idols? Should I play it down here so I can have it on countdown with this row so I could maybe destroy the spell fatigue? I'm gonna go for the middle. I mean, if he doesn't have the removal for my creatures, I'm not, those idols are going to go down fast. 
Vigor extraction. Okay, so now he's he's useless for now in the middle of the board. <laughs> Let's see. Languid on that. That's fine with the languid on that. I was afraid that was gonna get soul soul anyways. And it's interesting um, sacrifices after. Should probably sacrifice earlier. Let's see. I'm just going to pother this just to get it in a location where maybe. Yeah, I don't know. And yeah, I'm just going to pilot this. It goes up. Um, I probably should have moved down so that this guy gets that added boost, but whatever. And I can't really use, like, Roller Us right now. Unfortunately, I didn't, like, top deck of focus, but whatever. And I'll play this Wing Soldier down here. Maybe I can destroy stuff. And he's ramping up faster than because of that Eager Scryer. But if I put units like across the whole board, he can't get anything going because my guys will just attack and attack and attack. Vigor, vigor extractions and stuff like that can slow me down a lot though, so I have to watch out. Seven scrolls. Another vigor extraction, so he's ramping up. And I can't play the Rolaros because this Rolaros would die. So I'll sacrifice that. Should I just flip this so I can get rid of it? But he could probably just play another one. Um, or should I? Or should I flip this? You know, what, let's flip the eager scryer. Yeah, let's flip the eager scryer. I think that that is going to be, believe it or not. A better move and then I'll play a crossbowman I'll have a crossbowman maybe hit hit stuff over there because I have a feeling if I just destroy this uh, pillar of fatigue he'll just have a summons or maybe another pillar of fatigue and just play right away but I know he probably only has three ears for in the deck so that this essentially cuts his card draw in well, not exactly. Alright, so now that guy is just a buffer for units beside him. He doesn't really do much on his own. He's already played two Vicar Extractions and two Languids on me, so he's getting the right cards to try to slow me down, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Okay, Curse Presence, maybe he's going to go with some kind of poison. Mire Curses and Bloodline Tames would really screw me up. So I really hope that... Yeah, so he has summons, so... Good thing I didn't uh, flip this because he would just probably just play another Villa Fatigue. And he moves away there. And it tribes in. Alright. This idol is like almost dead to me because of the. Because of Decimation. I'm gonna keep the focus uh, because I can use focus to destroy this Jason. Um, So I guess I'll just focus. And. Probably gonna have some kind of poison for him. Let's just stick. Let's just have units on like every row. All right, cool. Haven't gotten any skirmishers yet. That's unfortunate. Gone through about a third of the deck, I think. Probably more. Still ramping up. I'm not sure if like his only order card is like summons, so he can keep getting those power fatigues. He might have like some, because there's that harvester. Oh boy! <laughs> Hopefully, there's not a lot of poison coming because he has harvester. He might have like tempo thefts and speeds, maybe even puppet ultra horn of ages. I don't know. I'm gonna keep the eternal sword instead of the focus. Effigy of the queen, I think, is pretty good right here because what that does is first of all I want to give all these guys the attack buff yeah I'm actually gonna not have either of these guys attack this turn I know I could destroy the idol but I'd rather get you in between like all these attackers 
How do I want to do this? I'm not sure how I want to do this. Let's... Yeah, let's go like this. Effigy the queen. And then, I guess might as well eternal sword something. Because if he destroys that thing, there's just something else we get eternal sword. So I will give... I'll give this guy eternal sword, just to keep... Just keep dealing a lot of damage. Okay, so now that FG the Queen really helps me out because it almost negates the curse. The curse is still pretty prevalent, but the poison would do a little bit less. Actually, no, in scrolls, isn't poison? I'm not sure if that effect has taken place in the live server yet, but is poison damage decreased by magic armor still? I almost can't remember. Hopefully it is. Uh, magic armor 2. Incoming non-combat damage. I think poison is non-combat damage still. Things are constantly being changed in the test server. Like A big uh, debate in scrolls right now is the damage types because it's kind of confusing. And people want to change them. Like There's pure damage, combat damage, magic damage, um, poison damage. So... Let's just hope that he doesn't have a bunch of, like, baleful witches and stuff. That could really be bad for me. Okay. He can't go, he doesn't have enough resources to go double baleful witch. He can go with one baleful witch. Mm, he moves up. So I get the card draw from the, uh... You're screwing another Bell Plantain. I am dead with a uh, Belfle Witch. Alright, we have a lot of stuff attacking now. So, what he did that turn is not really. He did get another Bell Plantain off, but I can destroy, I think, his whole board. Um, Vanguard. Let's get rid of the Vanguard. Decimation. Can I win? I don't think I can win. Uh, how can I do this? I can decimate here and then roasted bean potion. So I destroy that harvester, right? I could just actually roast bean potion. Yeah, let's just do that. So I will. I might be. I might be missing a lethal here. I don't think so because this pillar fatigue makes it so I can't really move around. So I will Roasted Bean Potion. So that means that Harvester dies. And that Harvester dies. And then I guess get a Royal Skirmisher down. All my units have like Curse 4 besides this Skirmisher. So, But now there's two idols that are in Decimation range. And I have one Decimation. I have two more Decimations in the deck. This one and another one. I sacked one of them early on. So I essentially only have to destroy one more idol. Not including these, so if I destroy this one, or this one, or this one, that'd be good. And maybe Aunt of the Ardor is uh, hesitant to play Baleful Witches, because he's not sure uh, if the Effigy of the Queen will like protect him, but I, I think that the Baleful Witch deals pure damage. Like, it just takes pure damage equal to the curse value. I don't think that's like raised or like negated, only with curse itself. It's kind of confusing. Okay, he's ramping up. I think he should have been ramping up earlier because he has so many scrolls. Okay, so now I think everything dies. Let's see. Oh boy. That was that was crazy. I'm not sure what I could have done to prevent that. Like, yeah, I'm really not sure what I could have done to, pre to prevent that. Um, let's get rid let's keep the decimations. Okay, I think that our best bet at winning at this point is just like what I said, the double decimation. So I'm going to put this Ducal Skirmisher here next to the Effigy of the Queen. Uh... 
Uh, I almost want to move him up here. He would lose the... He would use, lose the magic armor too. But then if he plays like a pillar of fatigue, I could still attack this lane. So I'm going to do that. I just lost um, magic armor too, but... I want to make sure if I can top deck a focus next turn, that'd be good. And he doesn't... If I can take down this idol, I think. I'm good. So then I can win within the deck cycle. If I can take down the idol. He might he might know, like, oh, he's tempo order, so I have to watch out for my idols. So, you know. Okay, so he does... He protects that idol. Let's see. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the... Hmm. Let's sacrifice the Ducal Skirmisher. There is the other decimation. Okay, chances are he has Curse to destroy this Ducal Skirmisher. Um, how do I want to do this? Let's move down and use this Aging Knight as protection. Actually, it's just, yeah, it's just Blessing of Haste here and destroy that. I don't love that turn, but... At least that saves my guys this turn. I haven't seen any poison room yet. No infectious blights. He definitely has infectious blights. Why would you have a deck with bloodline taint and all this curse without infectious blights? But now, now I have to. I have to keep these decimations. I think. I think I. So I, probably whatever card comes up, I have to sacrifice it for scrolls. That's kind of bad. Okay, come on. Hopefully, I can just top deck like focus and he doesn't have anything here. right now you're probably going to dive he's probably just gonna play baleful witch right i think that's gonna work okay how am i gonna destroy one more idol harvester and a baleful witch yeah boys so that kills you uh, this fg the queen is not doing what i wanted to do let's get rid of the paw there Okay. Um, let's just decimate here. Destroy that idol. There's nothing else we could do. And I guess I'll move you down. Not really. I mean, I could blessing of haste, but I don't think it's worth it. All right. How am I gonna do this? I need to flood the bottom of the board creatures and try to take down one more idol. Come on. I have a focus in hand. Whew. It doesn't look like his deck is going to win very fast. I mean, maybe he'll play like Necrogens and Watchers later, but by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it, win, it could win very fast, even though he's a lot of resources and scrolls. So I might have time to even just fish for more defini de uh, decimations. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't really fault myself for letting all these units die to that bell hole witch because, I mean, uh, what could I have really done to prevent that? Okay, so he's building up forces up there. Okay. So I guess we're we're gonna fight down here. It looks like. Um, I think we have to keep the focus over the blessing base because there's other kind of countdown reduction in the deck. Let's get rid of that, and let's play the these guys instead. Now I almost wish I sacrificed the Ducal Skirmisher. Okay, let's. That's his second Bell of Witch. He's played a ton of Cursed Presences already, but his deck is recycling very soon. Ugh. This is 
not going too well. So many resources. I just hopefully he's just gonna start like having so much protection here. I should probably play the decimation before this deck cycle ends so that next deck cycle I can win with the three decimations on this idol. But that's that that would be really lucky that he if he didn't win by then. I'm gonna get rid of the Ducal Skirmisher. I think I need to keep these scrolls. So that's fine, I guess. Let's just get down the wings captain down here all right i could have blessing face focused this duke and which to destroy this but I, that's not what i really want to do right now okay i just have to destroy one more idol one more idol besides that two health idol or at least I could just damage it so then maybe I can get lucky and draw decimations early in the next deck cycle. Okay, so it's going to be tough. I'm going to need flips and bothers and stuff like that. And he's moving about. Now I think that I want to keep that vanguard. Okay, flip is pretty good. Let's put the vanguard down here. Okay, what I can do is if this wings captain survives this coming turn, I might be able to... Ah, oh, but this witch doctor is here. I don't know. I guess I could flip the eager scryer. I had this guy blessing of haste destroy that and this guy would have five attack and then focus on him to destroy the idol so but that's that's with no more protection on this lane and uh both of these units survive which is not that likely considering he has so much curse in the deck baleful witches i think they played three baleful witches already though or maybe only two and he probably has damning curses okay Maybe he was focused on that, so he didn't think about Apostle 1 in the title, so don't play anything here. Please, 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 please. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Okay, that's really bad. That is so bad. Okay. Now we may have lost. Let's see, what can I do? Um, uh, let's see if I flip these guys can't really move down and kill him, but he definitely has stuff to kill this. That's the thing. I think I have to have the, the extra attack of that captain. No, but I have to have the... I, I want to get like two units down. That's a thing. Wing shield is fine. Okay, let's get rid of the captain. Okay, good. That was a good draw. Let's play the wing shield in front here. And play a ducal infantryman here. And now we just pray that things survive. Come on, things survive. Especially that Vanguard, but the chances that Vanguard survives are so little. Because he could just top deck a Belfal Witch or something else. But he actually, he, there's only one Belfal Witch in his deck because the other two are on the board right now. That's good. So the chances he draws a Belfal Witch are very slim. But I have not seen any poison yet from him. That is really surprising. All this curse in a deck with no poison. Maybe he just couldn't fit it in. Goes to 10 resources. What does that mean? Alright, he does fill up that board, that row more, so I might not be able to do good, fun stuff with that. Bovian Seeker. 
Necrogeddon. Wait. Why does she do that? Does that even do anything to me? I mean, it deals damage to my idols, but it doesn't win yet. I think I don't think he should have done that. I mean, yes, he can win soon. But what he did there is lost all his threats. Yeah, I don't think that was a good Necrogeddon by him. What, well, takes down two idols? Okay, I'm very happy that happened. But now there's, there is three units in this row, so I can't really... I don't think I'm going to be able to do the stuff, you know? If I... Let's see, what can I do? The problem is I don't have anything relentless that's attacking. Because I need, like, another flip. Because I need something to attack an idol. So... I could... And I can't really decimate on this row, because then everything just goes away let's go ahead and I I almost have to play the decimation first now we're gonna we're gonna go for scrolls we're gonna keep the decimation through the next cycle so if I can get a if I can get a flip that would be perfect I get another flip Or no, it wouldn't really do much, but... Okay, let's see what happens. Um, let's, uh, let's just play more creatures, then. Let's just play more creatures. And I'm just going to leave my idols open to stuff that can happen to me. Okay, maybe he has another Necrogeddon here. Necrogeddon Darkland, where I would lose the game. Watch again now, lose the game. But we can't be sure what scrolls he has in hand. What can I do? What can I do? Next turn, I could probably Blessing of Haste this Vanguard if it survives. Come on. Okay, here comes a Baleful Witch. Double Baleful Witch and everything gets cleared. Single Baleful Witch would do the trick. And there's a Harvester too. <laughs> oh, come on. Actually, that's a rise at least. Okay. I have to get the Aging Knights down. The Aging Knights are, are valuable. Okay, there's two flips. Uh, the thing is, my I just have to go turn it. I'm destroying all my stuff. Hmm. What row should I try to destroy? Probably the row with. Plus health, right? I guess. Aging Knight and then Wing Soldier in that row. Okay. I'm going to move you. The one damage on this does not do anything for me. I'd rather just save him. <sighs> but now I don't get the attack off on that row this coming turn. No, oh, whatever. How can this work? I have two flips. So, hopefully that witch witch cap the the uh, wings captain survives. Halls of Omlasa, Eager Scryer. Okay, no Belfel witch. Nice. Okay, how can we do this? We have two flips.
but we lose. Ugh, we're gonna lose. Let's see, if I move you up, then I have the Blessing of Haste to you, and then I can go with one, two, three, four, five. That's not even enough to destroy that idol. Oh man, I shouldn't have. Let's see, if I flip. I think I lose. If I flip, if I move you guys down, then I can actually, then I can destroy that idol, but then this harvester attacks, and he wins. How do I do it? What if I can I do it with only destroying one? They're gonna have three attack. Yes, I can do this. Okay. Here we go. Actually, you can move twice, so let's just protect. And now... Blessing of Haste. Flip. Flip. Focus. Okay. Yes, no units died. Oh boy. No units died. I was able to do it without killing anything. Okay, don't win this turn. Don't win this turn. How's he gonna get this harvester? I guess he can... Oh no, he can bloodline taint his own... No! GG! I was so close. I have decimation in hand. If I played the decimation earlier... No. Oh, that was so close. Dang it. <laughs> that was a pretty exciting match. I uh, lost a lot of rating. Oh well, I'll have to pick that up. It's early in the week, so I don't really mind the rating loss as much because I have a lot of time to pick it back up to win another weekly winner. But I'm happy that was a really exciting match, man. Probably hasn't updated. I'll probably be logging to it now. So thank you all for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like